The Timmins Gold Camp has produced upwards of 70 million ounces of gold in the last century. Mayfair Gold believes their location in this iconic Ontario, Canada district is only one of three characteristics that make this a compelling opportunity for investors. And they are the first in Canada with a net zero gold project. I've been in the mining business for about 27 odd years. Over that time, I've built two mines, a platinum mine in South Africa and a diamond mine in the Northwest Territories of Canada. So we've had some very favorable M&A transactions happen, which have provided shareholders attractive liquidity opportunities. Many of the people working at Mayfair Gold have been associated with my previous companies. They're very experienced. They understand what our strategic objectives are. Um, and that's reflected in the results that we've achieved at Mayfair over the last 30 months. Located in the prolific Abitibi Gold Belt in Ontario, Canada, the Fen Gibb project sits on approximately 4,800 square hectares, 75% of which remain unexplored. Security of title in Canada, of course, is absolute, and no one's going to expropriate the deposit. Second, Fen Gibb sits right on Highway 101 with access to renewable grid power and, of course, an abundance of labour and support services. Third, Fengib is an open pitable deposit. It has broad disseminated gold mineralisation, um, which reduces both the development and operating risk. We've owned Fengib for 30 months. In that time, we've drilled over 150 kilometres and we've grown the deposit by over 70% to 3.5 million ounces in the indicated resource category. At $2,000 per ounce, the value in the ground of that 3.5 million ounces is a massive $7 billion worth of gold in the ground. Now we're continuing to drill at Fengeb. We've guided that we expect that our ongoing drilling will grow the resource to more than 4 million ounces and that would peg the value of the gold in the ground at about $8 billion. We've modeled our deposit on a 50 degree pit slope, the three and a half million ounces. If we were able to steepen that to 55 degrees, then that will increase the gold uh, in the deposit to about 3.7 million ounces. Digby ESG helps mining companies measure, manage and disclose their ESG or environmental, social and governance ratings, giving greater transparency for those evaluating mining data. The, the rating was double B, in fact, the whole way through uh, from the corporate and also across their project. One particular thing that I thought was interesting was the uh, with their metallurgical work, they're looking to see how they can remove themselves from the cyanide processing uh, circuit. I think the efforts by the company to secure hydroelectric power uh, is clearly important and beneficial. We're Canada's first, and as far as I know, Canada's only net zero gold project. In the first two years of our operation, we measured all of our greenhouse gas emissions, and we've purchased offsets by funding solar panel installation across Canada. Patrick Evans' unique perspective on their future is echoed by his excitement for the industry going forward. What excites us is when we see young graduates come up uh, into Mayfair uh, to support us at FENGIB, uh, giving us the opportunity to train them, uh, provide them with a future in the mining industry, which we think is critical. Of course, growing shareholder value um, is at the heart of it. That's why we're doing what we're doing is to grow shareholder value, to deliver value for shareholders. With work commencing later this year on a pre-feasibility study, you can follow this Net Zero Gold Projects news at mayfairgold.ca.